My daughters were a little skeptical when you were telling your stories. Effectively. But they saw when you got to the cash register, just like that, the register stopped working suddenly. And the cashier said, that's weird, it never happened, and at the same time, it came back. But again, I was tired at that time. Do you think that there are many people who after being abducted experience things related to electricity, like computers breaking down from electrical failures? Ah. Well, talking about computers, I had a friend who came home with his MacBook. And he showed me some important data. And I said to him, I don't want your computer break down, I hope you have a backup of all that. He said, yes, but it's not a risk, Mac is solid. And suddenly, the computer shuts down. He said, what's going on, I don't understand. But, I had just told him about my interaction with electricity, and he lost his data. So I apologized to him again. There was another story with this person. When you had dinner at his home. We were in his living room, and we were talking about different subjects, and his friends were present, and I was telling him that sometimes I was able to relieve people with my energy or whatever. Because that's something you've been doing since you were a kid. Yes, that's right. And at this moment, my friend had been suffering from a serious digestive problem for a long time. He had a very bad stomach pain. So, I tell him, we'll try something. He raises his shirt, and I put my hands on his stomach. Suddenly, he feels a warm feeling, and when I feel that it's over, I say, every time I do a work like this, or I want to help someone, I must wash my hands right away. He asks me, why? I tell him, it's to remove the bad vibes, like to remove the evil. And there, I arrive at the level of his sink. I make water run. And there are glasses, which are there in the sink. I do not touch the glasses. There is him, who is there. And there is his young cousin, who is there. At the moment, when I approach my hands, I am about 20 centimeters from the glass. The glass explodes. And just before, people saw something black coming out of my hands. But the glass exploded just around the edge. It's like a laser cut of the glass rim. So, you have the foot of the glass. And above, you can imagine that it was completely cut with precision. You could have touched it without hurting yourself. Also, they are a very religious family. Because they are Italian, so they are very religious people. My friend's young cousin said, Oh my God, what is that? He saw something black coming out of my hands. And he said, I saw it with my eyes, he never touched the glass. Never, never. I remember that we saw these people again, and we told this story. And I remember that they all confirmed what had happened. And they still had chills about it. I also remember you told me about the dog. I think it was your parents' dog. Yes. My dog Fiji was a little Bichon poodle. He was very sick. My parents went to the veterinary to take care of him. And he had to take some medicine. It's not easy to give a dog pills. He hadn't eaten for several days already. And it worried my parents a lot. I leaned over and decided to put my hands on his abdomen. And the moment I put my hands on his abdomen, he lay on his back as if he wanted to be stroked. And my hands got very hot. And he closed his eyes. And finally, I said okay, it's over. Suddenly, I didn't feel well, as if I had absorbed his pain. And then, I had to go to the bathroom very quickly, because I was very sick in a few minutes. And the dog got up and started to eat simply to the great pleasure of my parents. That's what happened. It's part of the strange things, in any case, he got up. And he ate, so it was a beautiful moment. What do you think is going on at that moment? 
Because this story is told that you helped a dog to get better, but you also helped many people to get better, to feel better. We won't use the word healing because we know that we shouldn't use that word. But I remember the times when I witnessed extraordinary things that you do. It was spontaneous. It was something that wasn't planned. Someone would call you and say, I don't feel well, can you help me? Or you know even your mother in France. At 5,000 miles away, she would say, I'm not feeling well, my son, could you ask? Do you want to talk about Victor? Not now. Okay, another time. Maybe another time. I think, it goes a lot, with empathy. It seems that, if I am surprised by something, that someone calls me an emergency. Let's say, at midnight, as it was the case of a friend. Her son was hospitalized. He suffered from a serious disease, very rare cystic fibrosis. It attacks the lungs, and her son made a hemorrhage in the lungs. So he was hospitalized urgently, and the first person she called was her friend. So it was me. And then she said, I don't know what to do Jean Charles, can you do something? I beg you. And she knew you could do something, because 